Hello everyone, in this today's tutorial I will show you how to make a very simple dynamic website with PHP. Having a dynamic website have its own advantage. First, editing as well as adding new content become easy. So in this tutorial uh, two things are imp important. Include that will allow us to include another pages in our PHP page or index PHP or any other page. We will be having these folding home about contact uh, contact us and feedback. And the most important thing, uh, the dollar get variable. First, let me clear out with the basics. You might be family, uh, familiar of uh, the get variable. Here we have about. This will be our type of. Uh, this will be our links in our menu bar. And if we add uh, with the uh, dot uh, dot php, it would be about dot php, and we will be including this. So first, let's start with making our uh, website. This is about.php, another page, contact.php, another one, footer.php, And header.php. So first, uh, we start with header. I will be creating this type of uh, website with header, menu bar, header, menu bar, content, and footer. Header contains the header as well as menu bar. A -hurf. We are done with this. The basic stylings.
div id unit that will contain all header about all the pages absolute width setting 100% height auto or min height 100% We're done with this and font my font. Oh, here comes header with ninety four percent padding three percent font size sixty pixels. And uh, color white. Now first, let's check it about our header. Include header dot php. So you can see this is my index dot php page. Just forget to set the background background uh, source of oh, URL assets. Now you can see that uh, with including with the help of uh, include function I was able to include header.php in my index.php page. It would be in in the uni ID that we already created. Now you can see uh, uh, now the next part comes with uh, designing a menu bar. First, let me check menu bar. This is also width is equal to hundred percent background. URL. PNG. Next menu bar A font size would be just about 24 pixels, color, color would be uh, white, padding uh, would be about 10 pixel, 20 pixel, 10 pixel, 20 pixel. Now, also uh, removing the text decoration, none. And display inline block. Now we are done with the menu bar. Next, our hover effect. The color would be background would be white. This looks good. The next we uh, come to about dot php. You're writing some any information. This is about dot. About 
page uh, contact us uh, at um, one to two one to three footer footer something like internet copyright something header of which we have already done now if we can include first we can include our footer dot php Here we have our footer dot php basic signings width same as uh, okay, 90 94% padding 3% color white same as menu bar font size also 24 pixels now we have to start with our content.php So here will come our PHP script. Now, if it is set to get, repeat, then uh, we will storing in a variable. In the thing uh, page display of page dot php at the end and include dot display or else. This can be a uh, echo hello and uh, welcome to my dynamic website This is content. In, uh, we also need to uh, design it. I'm giving some settings. Same as width that would be equal to ninety six percent. Padding uh, can give two portion font size. We just about twenty four pixels. That's or twenty pixel. That's okay. Background URL says cb dot p 
png here in my assets folder i have already have this this is my font file and these are my backgrounds that i am using suppose let's check uh, let's check it this is my uh, content can also set the height of the content that would be just high um, 500 pixel that's all right yeah the next part that is important thing clicking our link as this content.php about.php and footer header and another one that is downloads Now let's check it. Now click on about. Here this is about page. Downloads. This is download page. Content uh, contact us. This is contact us page. Uh, so we are here we have advantage. Just we need to include. Uh, we need to create any other page content dot php anything. Uh, just we need to go to a header dot php and include one more link. Yeah. So this was our today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. In my next tutorial, it would be about PHP MySQL.